is a must have for this spring. I don't care what your mama said. I don't care what your grandpa said. This unit is definitely a must have for the spring. Period. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl TJ. Today I'm going to be installing this beautiful, beautiful curly unit from Asteria here. And I'm going to walk y'all through how I get it to look like this. Y'all, this unit is super pretty. I feel like this unit is definitely spring ready. Okay, if y'all are going on any type of trips for spring, I definitely would recommend this unit. As you guys can see, it speaks for itself. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I use... Stay tuned. I will leave all the information in regards to the hair in the description section below. It's time for us to bring out our curly wigs. Um, I didn't wash it or anything. I just literally customized it and, um, well, I plucked it. I'm going to put it on before I take the lace because you guys can see this is a transparent lace. So it's supposed to mesh very well with uh, your skin tone. Y'all don't mind my hair. It's a mess. So this is what the lace looks like without any cream foundation. I don't know if I should actually just leave it like this and don't put anything on it. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. This is so crooked. Y'all, I really have to start putting on my wigs and making my parts because lately I don't know what's going on with my eyes. Oh, but these, the part, don't be straight. So you actually, actually have a lot of room, which I love to part on here. You have a lot of space back here to part. I think it actually stops way back here. That is insane. I think the track stopped back here somewhere. So all this, Come on, Asteria. They actually gave us a lot of room. You wanna be on top? Y'all, this wig didn't come off. I'm shook it. Y'all been using different products lately. I'm gonna be trying to find some other products to use as well, but I'm using my bed head today. But anyway, I'm putting some of this bed head all on this part. I'm gonna actually go in as well put some little bit of wax on it well I don't want it to lay down too much because this is a curly unit I don't want it too flat so I'm just gonna add wax right here and that's it yeah I don't know about this camera setting when I put it on auto it starts doing weird stuff so I can't believe this part and go way back here like that I feel like when you try to hot comb your hair when it's already down on your head you just be burning yourself because i know i do and you really can't get close to the um, edges once you cut off that lace so if you do it before you can actually get to them without burning yourself although you can flat iron your i mean hot comb your head on your hot comb your hair on your mannequin head first then put it on all right so we're gonna fix this in a second I feel like it look a little thick up here, but then I don't want it too thin because like I said, it's curly hair. I can't see what I'm doing at all. Period. 
Did y'all see that? Y'all see how that just... I'm going in with my favorites, Ebon Tint Lace Spray. I'm actually just going to do this whole thing in one setting because it is a closure. But you can work in sections. I don't when it comes to closure because it's really unnecessary. So, I'm going to stretch it out to see where I need to lay every... Well, place the glue. I'll probably do it to the top of my brow on both sides. Since I don't have my blow dryer in here, I'm going to go like this. I've got my little fan here. Alright, so I'm just going to pull it down. On both sides. And hold it for a, a little bit. They don't have my dryer and I don't feel like getting it. I think this is the first install I do with no dryer. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to take the back of the comb and just press down. Alright, so now I'm going in with their band. I think this is the first time I actually seen them with the band. And I was like, okay, we're going to try today. And me not using the blow dryer definitely is going to come in handy. Because we have our little Asteria Edge Melt Band. That's what it says. Y'all, I'm excited to use this. This is what we're going to do. And this is an easier one, okay? You just put it on Velcro and boom. And it's going to melt. But I want it a little tighter. So we're going to let that sit and melt for a little bit. I love this band. Oh my goodness. I love this construction of the band. It's it's not, I don't know. I just like the way it feels. I don't think some people notice that or know that. I'm getting some shedding, y'all. But like I said, I did pluck into the unit. When you do the curly hair method or the curly hair routine, and you have your hair like the wet hair look, it's gonna make your hair look way down and just more defined. When you just use light products on your hair, you're gonna get the, the true density of the hair. This is what she is giving, y'all. This is a lot of lot of hair, okay? A lot of hair, nice and full and thick. And this hair is super soft. Like I said, I don't wash the hair or condition it. Um, Like I said, sometimes curly hair needs to be co-washed. I wouldn't say you need to co-wash this one because like I said, it is super soft. I think it's dry. No, I know it's dry. Oh, I see some lifting. We back. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of um, cream foundation on the outside of the lace. Just a little bit because I can see it. And if I can see it, y'all can see it. And I'm just using my Ruby Kisses. This is in the shade 12. But I will have it listed down in the description section too. That way, I'm gonna take this angle brush and we're just gonna place it here. Okay, that made it 10 times better. Y'all, should I just leave it like this and just do some curls? Or should I just do my two sweeps and call it a day? I don't feel like plugging in my flat iron either because I usually freestyle my baby ears anyway. Edge brush, and we're just gonna swoop that down. And now we're gonna get started with our curly hair routine. So, we're gonna start with this section and make sure the hair is damp. I should have put some warm water in here because this water is cold. So, once it's semi damp, 
I'm gonna take my dimming brush and just run it through there just to make sure the curls are saturated with water water and if I feel like I need a little bit more I'll just add some now I'm gonna, <clears throat> I almost dropped it y'all I would have been pissed cleaning up all that gel on the ground let me close it so I won't jinx, my, jinx myself I'm going in with my extreme slime gel so I'm just gonna put some at the bottom so my curls can be more defined and then I'm gonna put some all throughout the hair but not too much because yeah no then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more water and just brush it out and I like using this gel in particular because it is water-based and I feel like water-based gels just do do the hair very good and it don't have it like weighed down and hard this is the only gel that I know that doesn't make your hair hard and crunchy like when it dries it doesn't do that at all and I'm just gonna go ahead and scrunch it up Now, I ain't gonna lie, this hair has like a new hair smell. So, if you guys don't like that, you could go ahead and co-wash it. That way, when you do your um, curly hair routine, it won't have that new hair smell. It will have your whatever conditioner and shampoo you use. Even though it looks like it's gonna be defined, it does poof up once it fully dries. But, I'm gonna continue to do this. so this is what the hair looks like right now it's not all the way dry so of course when it dries 100% it's gonna be fluffier than what it is right now but it's still cute okay so we're gonna take this band off oh oh man I made a line but this is gonna be the final result but this is just what it is I'm just fluffing it out a little bit more so this is pretty much how the hair turns out like I said this is my first install so I can't really give you guys like a full review this is a very thick density unit now it doesn't look as thick because the curls are not all the way dry but like I said once the curls dry you'll get more volume with your um, curly hair unit but y'all she is giving okay she is really cute and I really love her so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below that this is definitely something you want to have 
for the springtime okay i really hope you guys enjoyed all the information in regards to this unit will be listed down in the description section below and until next time you girls see you later bye guys so that's